There's the whistle, and here we go. Maguire. Cavani. Alex Tellez. Tries to stroke it through. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Scalotto. March. And it's Murray. Questions were asked. And he's given the answers. Lindelof. McTominay. Cavani. Cavani. Played out to the wing. Matic looking to get on the end of this. Header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Dunk plays it forward. And it's Murray. Sure. Lindelof. Rashford. Gross. Great challenge. Duffy. Third of the match, or thereabouts, gone, and we still await the first goal. McTominay. Aimed long and direct. And it's Matic. Alex Tellez. Shoots! He's delivered all right! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Manchester United get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Bong. Looking up to see who wants it. Bong with the ball through. Bong. Lovely bit of skill. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And the weighted pass. Gets it upfield. Maguire does well to read it and intercepts. Is that the big? Cavani. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Cavani passes it through. Cavani is fouled. That'll be the last act of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Manchester United head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Tries to dink it in. Duffy. 
this defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. And he's there to cut it out. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Izquierdo. Cross. Proper. Van der Beek did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Out wide to the right. Matic. He's left his man. Matic! Big relief in. Just needed better contact. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Matic. Rashford beats the offside trap. Now it's Matic. Matic has a swing at it! Fantastic from Andreas Pereira! And surely that does it! Perfect time, decisive strike. Are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Manchester United themselves a two-goal cushion. Izquierdo. Played out to the wing. Gets into some space. Income diving header! McTominay boots it to safety. Is that the big? Andreas Pereira. Plays it into the channel. Scalotto does well there. Alert. Long shell pass, that's the message there. And that is that. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big...